what, what them haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Good old boy Matthew Hubbard, a mathematics professor in Oakland, California, said that his emails to a Vietnamese American college freshman were both a mistake and offensive. Family, he wanted the girl to anglicize her name. In other words, make it sound white. He wanted one of those names. The Cardacity. Fam, where they come from? Where did they come from? They pulled the same stunt on black people in slavery because they didn't like the name. They stripped everybody's name and just gave them the names that sound good to them. But it was also to make black people feel inferior. You're not even who you think you are. I know what your mama called you. I know what your daddy called you, what your family called you, but I'm gonna call you something else. And that's what you're gonna answer to. The Cardacity. Fam. Okay, let's get down to her name. What is the young lady's name? Fukbui Dim Win. Fukbui Dim Win. That's her name. Why not just call her by her last name? Miss Wynn. Simple. That wasn't enough, though, fam. See, it's that entitlement. It's that I can, you can't. I run this place. This is my country. You're visiting. I appreciate your contributions. Uh... Perhaps you made more contributions to the country than I have, but you're less than me, you're beneath me. I don't like the name, change it. Of course, this clown apologized because he got put on blast and he's trying to save his job, you see? And of course, the college, Laney College, issued an apology. They say, this comes from the president. While our mission has been bold and unrelenting, we also recognize that our college and its community is a reflection of broader society. And we must actively fight ignorance with education, she said. We do not tolerate racism, discrimination, or oppression of any kind. You know how they do. Just be talking. They tolerate racism and discrimination of all kinds. That's why he felt bold enough. The dude been teaching college for 15 years. I can guarantee you this is not the first time that he told somebody to change their name. In fact, it was reported that he said he asked her to change her name because another college student had done so and he thought it was a good idea. Now, if you remember, back in the 70s, Asian people were changing their names to make their names sound more Caucasian. Um, and many of them kind of still go by those white-sounding or uh, Caucasian-sounding names. But this newer generation have decided to embrace their own names. Many of the newer generation it's saying, no, this is my name. Call me by my name. That's what it is. You don't like it? Kick rocks. Now, I'm all good with even how black people name their children. I mean, I, you know, some of the names, you know what I'm talking about. You know, I'm something go too far. But, hey, you know, we have, like, if, if those names are, are rooted, like, in, like, 
are derived from some some like name with some meaning, it's like, especially like African name. Oh hell yeah, man, rock that, rock that all day long. Yeah, you know, I ain't with some of the uh, 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 shawiki walkers and all that kind of stuff. I ain't with all that kind of stuff. But African heritage, absolutely. And then, you know what? Some of the other names, even though they may sound weird, some of these names that don't even make no sense, don't come from nothing, they're just made up. Like, uh, uh, j j j you know, sh Sharika and Jaraka, j whatever. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm, some of them names I'm talking about. Drop a comment on them. Hey, I ain't really even tripping on that because guess what? All these names was made up at some point. Every single name out there, it was made up at some point. If some of these names that sound weird to us that people just throw together, just make up, I'm talking about black folks, that they just make up. If some of these names were like had historical context, like if they came from way back, they wouldn't sound so odd to us. They sound odd to us because it's new to us, right? But if they had like historical origins, it may not sound so odd, right? But in any event, whatever your name is, I would say embrace your name. Look, my name is Willie. I never really liked the name Willie. I just never really liked the name. But I learned to embrace it, you know? And I took the name and went and made something out of it. And so I say, whatever your name is, make something out of it. You know, do something with it and, and, and just just be, be embrace it. You know, you ain't got to become a celebrity and all that kind of stuff. Just just do something to honor your name. Make people put respect on it. Put some respect on your name, whatever your name is. And this dude, Matthew, this dude is a clown for real. I mean, a, a grade A clown. And I don't think that suspension is enough for him. I think he needs to be terminated. Not think, I know for a fact that he needs to be terminated. Matthew, I know you think the world belongs to you. I know you think that you got it going on and your whiteness protects you from all harm or any type of disrespect. I know you think that your, your body is fortified with that whiteness. I know you're loving on it. I know you're feeling good about yourself. But really, white supremacy, fam, and this is what it is. This white supremacy thing is really more like inferiority. That's all it really is. It's inferiority cloaked in white supremacy. That's all it really is. These people who are blatant with it like that, these overt racist type people that just has that boldness about them when they go out there, they don't have nothing else going for themselves. That's all they really got. When they're feeling bad and they're just feeling upset, you know, they, they want to try to insult somebody that don't look like them. They want to insult them. They want to bring them some type of harm so that they can feel better. Like, you know, like, like, using that racism you know as a tool of oppression it's kind of like somebody who would probably take a pill you know to to combat depression racism is medicine to them Matthew Matthew Hubbard I want you to pull up and listen to me closely because obviously nobody has ever told you this. Your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.